everyone and welcome back to RC Fun and Games. I'm Ryan and today we're going to be doing something with all the original parts that we removed from the Traxxas TRX4Ms. Guys, I'm sorry on the delay on this project, but my health has really not been great. Um, I've been suffering for years, but I've been having a really bad time lately. So I apologize for taking so long to start this project. We already have some upgrades on these things like a bearing kit, we've got reduction gears inside the gearbox and we've also got bearing kit inside the gearbox. So those are the only upgrades to the original parts and we will also be running aluminum shocks instead of the plastic original shocks. We've got the links here. These are all the components you will be needing to build your Enduro Tarantula buggy. You will need your links, you will need gearbox, you will need the front and rear axle, you will also need the shocks. Now for receiver, transmitter, and ECU, I have got something I've chosen. I'll let you guys know towards the end of the build exactly what they are and where they came from, okay guys? Because we're trying to keep this budget friendly. We don't want to be wasting a lot of money or else you might as well just buy another Traxxas TRX for him. This is the package and this is how it comes from Endura. It is the green one. We've also got a red one we'll be building next, just waiting on a few components, but let us get stuck into this build, guys. Okay, let's see what actually comes inside the packet with the tarantula body or chassis, shall I say. Okay, so let's see what do we get with this tarantula body. So, the main chassis rails and body, of course. More components to do with that. We also get a light bar and the wiring needed. Here are the body panels, guys. Beautiful green, I really like that lime green. Hardware needed to do the installation, more hardware needed to do the installation. And, oh, and some 3M Velcro sticking tape, which is very handy. And you know what guys, something what's just shocked me, is this an instruction? Yes it is, I cannot believe this. This is awesome, Endura. Thank you very much for finally including some instructions with your goods. I think that will take you guys to the next level. Well done, guys. Now that we've got the chassis half built, we need to move on to the base plate. So I'm gonna grab my base plate and I'm gonna grab my gearbox. We're gonna be fitting the gearbox into the base plate so that then we can fit it into the 
buggy. We will also be needing the other links. As we put the screws through, you will need to fit the links. So let's get the gearbox screw down. Okay guys, I just got to do a bit of soldering here on this wire. I'm not going to bother filming it. I'm just going to quickly repair this wire so that it's good to go. As you guys can see this hole doesn't line up with anything so don't even bother trying to get a screw in there okay just move past that phase you don't really need it so just leave it okay and now I'm gonna move on by fitting the other side of the chassis there was a packet that were full of these little screws over here guys and that's the ones we're using to put the chassis together Okay, I am now going to move on to fitting the front axle. And now, the top assembly of the shock, we will be using that screw that they provide, and don't forget Debra's spacer. Okay guys, as you can see, we've got the front axle all assembled, it's moving really nicely, can't say much. Servo doesn't catch anywhere, we'll have to see when we put the hood on, if it's actually going to catch on it or not. But besides that, front end, all done. Now let's get the back axle on.
Okay, we finally got to the stage now where everything is assembled, just need to fit our electronics to the vehicle, so I think that's our next step. Okay guys, the electronics I chose for the vehicle is the 30 amp from WPL, it can be 2 and 3S capable, so I'm going to try and install this and I'm going to be using the Injura, which is basically a Dumbo receiver guys, okay, 6 channel, I'm going to be trying this out with the WPL electronics let's see how that fares let's see if it behaves okay let's see if it's got good modulation to show you guys better that's basically what you're getting you get your six channel receiver and transmitter I couldn't find anything better on the market that had a better modulation at this price all the other 30 amp um, receivers I found had bad reviews so I'm gonna give the WPL one a go because the V3 electronics I have in my WPL trucks has been excellent and apparently the modulation from this one is identical to the V3. So we're definitely gonna be checking this out and we'll see if it's worth it because I think it was only 12 bucks for this. So a great way to go if you're trying to do a budget build. Okay, so I'm gonna be fitting this to where the battery tray would originally go and I'm gonna fit those spaces to give it the clearance it needs to clear the drive shaft. And hopefully I can then stick my electronics to that. And since I don't need as wide, I'm gonna cut it a bit thinner. But basically you guys get the idea. So like that, I'm not losing space. I can fit my electronics there and then I can try and make some kind of strap or something in the back here. So it's easy to get to the battery and change the battery when I need to. So let's cut this down to size. Okay, it's down to size. I'm now gonna fit it in there and see if the holes match up and everything else. Okay, while I wait for this to dry, I am gonna move on to cutting off the wires from the motor so that I can fit the wires that are provided. So it comes with its own plug, so I'm just gonna get rid of these so I can plug it straight in and I don't have any problems. Now, I'm gonna fit the little plate I made so I can fit the electronics. Our six channel receiver, our transmitter, and some funny thing if you want to stick it on for your finger. Okay, gonna be sticking the receiver on top of the gearbox. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, with this unit, number one is your servo, number two is your ECU. So, servo line is this one. So that's those two done. Now, we should have lights and stuff that should plug into number three, no problem. So let's get that one out. Let's connect this motor and then we'll see if everything works right. I might still have to turn the wires around on the motor because we don't know if we're going the right way or not. Okay, We've got it all plugged in, servo is working. Motors are running, going the right way. Okay, I've tidied up most of the wiring as good as I can with this body. I'm gonna be running this little 500 milliamp battery from a WPL 
as it fits with that connector and I have lots of them lying around the house. So I'm going to use it with that. But from what I've tested, which I'll show you guys, just turn it on. Turn on the controller, turn on the car. It all works perfectly. Nice slow modulation guys, I'm really impressed with that. Let's get the wheels on so we can see actually how slow can we crawl with it. But yeah, it seems to have worked out great. Also, I put the light bar onto that channel. So like that, I can turn it on and off. Okay, so now that I'm moving on to the next phase, let's get the panels fitted. Okay, as you guys can see, I finally got all the panels on. It looks really cool. Now I need to put some stickers on to finish it off. Still need to try and hide this. I'm not quite happy, but you know what? It's turned out really good. Now I've got to choose some tires and rims to go on here and I know exactly what I'm gonna be using. So be right back guys. Okay, so I've decided I'm gonna go for the Swamp Crawl Endura tires. These are the 64 by 24 millimeters and I think they look awesome for this build. So that's going to be going on here and I'm going to be using the offset brass rims as well. And these are the ones I'm going for. So just check out the description of the video if you want to know where any of these parts come from. For now guys, I'm not going to bore you by fitting the rims and doing everything. You guys have seen me do plenty of rims. There's a video, I'll post it up here somewhere for you guys on this side. It will be there of the last time when I was working on the rims and all the different models of rims that are available from Endura at the moment. But for now, I'm just going to throw these together and I'll get them on the car and I'll be right back once I've finished it all off so we can have a quick look and get it out on the trail. Okay, so I am done. Got the rims fitted, got some stickers on it because you know, got to run the stickers, it doesn't look good without stickers. Had to put some of Endura's stickers on there because they've done such a good job with most of their parts so far. So I am gonna more than proudly run their stickers on the, on the car. I'm also running my good friend Dozer RC. He's also on the roof. And of course, Enjora Racing. And then I just went with my general logo, RC Fun and Games. And of course, k &M Filters and Fox Racing Shocks. So we are ready. Oh yeah, don't forget the Warren Winch. Anyway, guys, I would say it's ready for us to give a little test. Let's turn it on here on the table. Let's see how it crawls. Let's check its modulation. Um, I might have to take it out another day to go and get the trail. I haven't got enough time today. So let's just test it on the table here and see how it does. So, controller on, car on. Okay. I can't complain about the modulation. It's nice and smooth, nice and slow. Seems to work perfectly well to me. No, that's working really well. I've got nothing to complain about that. Awesome control. And then we can still hit our button here, yeah, turn our light bar on. Guys, this thing is awesome and I am blown away by it. So all I've got left to say is 
tomorrow I'll get out, I'll get five minutes of footage, I'll add it on to the video. But for now, thanks for joining me, everyone, and I'll see you all in the next one. So, happy trails, everyone!